What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News. And I have some more news concerning Mr. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Okay? He warns Joshua and Fury that he's the king of the U.S. And I've got the influence. That's what he states. Um, he went on to say, America has been waiting are wanting a heavyweight king for a very long time, someone they can look up to and be happy about, said the Bronze Bomber. I give America the pride and joy of having their own superstar and heavyweight champion they can call their own, the baddest man on the planet. Okay. Um, since the last few fights, I've got the world's attention like I wanted it. This is just the beginning for Deontay Wilder. The things that I can do from now are incredible. These guys, Joshua and Fury, have to have a chance if they do the right things, make the right fights, have the right fans, then America will love them. But they have to understand that they, that when they come to America, it is totally different. Our outlook and view is different. We look, we like to be cocky. We like to talk old school. We like to see aggressiveness. The fighters fight the best, and they don't want to see nobody running. When these guys come to America, I am king here, no matter what people say. I've got a lot of influences here. Everyone is in the sports looks. Everyone in the sport looks up to me because I am the monster in the heavyweight division, and they can't look over me. These guys coming over, I wish them the best. But I want them to see, I want to see the best fights happen. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me counterpunch this. Okay. Deontay Wilder, what he's saying is basically um, that the last few fights he's got his profile raised, which is true. It's true. He has raised his profile. And it's What's incredible is the amount of buzz that he's got around him in this short amount of time compared to the last 10 years of his career. His 10 years of his career was dark. It was below mediocre. You know what I mean? Like, and the opposition he was fighting was poor, okay? Um, or fair it's not it wasn't good or excellent you know what I mean it was more from poor to fair in that category and you know he is funny that he's saying that you know what they have to do to be stars you know um he says that no one likes nobody running well you know I know what he's implying he's implying to fury when Fury, uh, you know, turned down the 50-50 contract for those guys to fight and he signed the deal of his own. I know that he was referring to, and I think he was trying to throw in that Joshua. He didn't say Joshua, okay? So I didn't say that he said Joshua, but you could read into that. He might be implying that, like, they, you know, because he's, he's talking about Joshua and Fury, right? So he could be saying to Joshua, nobody likes people over here running, you know, and... um he went on to say, it's not like in England when boxing is almost like a second sport. You know, these guys will be uh, understanding what I've been going through to become a star. I had to deal with certain things in boxing with the other sports that are in America because boxing does not get the same attention. Look, I have to disagree with that. Now, I know boxing isn't a mainstream sport and... I know what angle he's trying to approach this, but he's trying to uh, use boxing not being a mainstream sport to his own notoriety, which he's flawed. He, he can be no... He, look, that's not right. That's not correct, okay? Um, the reason why he's got the buzz that he has, I just explained to you guys that... He started fighting guys that you didn't know if he was going to win or not. Well, honestly, the Fury fight, the talk, the, you know, the, the fight was just talked up too much. 
Everybody, including myself, thought Wilder was going to go knock him out. So that wasn't even a, you know, sure, it, you know, you're, you're curious. But you didn't think for a minute that Fury would do what he'd done. Okay, so that's that. So that was kind of like, okay, I got, I beat Luis Ortiz. And now I'm going to pick another soft touch in Fury because Fury has been obsolete for so long. You know what I mean? So we didn't know what Tyson Fury was going to do. So for him to say what these guys will understand about being a star here in America, he had to deal with certain things in boxing because he wasn't fighting the top guys in boxing. He wasn't fighting the Vladimir Klitschko. He could have knocked his ass off that crown a long time ago. He didn't do that. He could have fought the other Klitschko. He could have fought Vitaly. He didn't want to do that. Or his people didn't want him to do that. They didn't believe in him like that. They were afraid that he might lose. You know, what other part do we have to deal with? That's the only other conclusion. Yeah. You know, um, I see what he's saying. I want to go back to what he said. And uh, he says that... <clears throat> He is the heavyweight king of boxing in America. Now, if you guys can remember, I did a video on Deontay Wilder, and I do agree with him because he's once again saying the same thing that I think it was 78 Sports was interviewing him. And this is right after the Fury deal. And he stated, like, I I'm the heavyweight champion of America. And then the guy had to correct him from 78 Sports. So like, hey, no, no, man, you're the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, yeah, the world. See, he believes he's the heavyweight champion of America, and I do too. I'm with Deontay. I think he is the heavyweight champion of America. He's not the heavyweight champion of the world. And that's a good, that's the better way, or that's the best way to define uh, Deontay Wilder right now. Deontay Wilder is the heavyweight champion of America. And he just said that again out of his own mouth. Speak it, believe it, receive it, right? This is what it is because he's speaking it. He is the heavyweight boxing. He is the king of heavyweight boxing in America. That's what he's stating, not the world. Okay. So he's comparing America to the rest of the world, you know? So he's not even saying oh, the world in, even in this, you, you don't see, you see boxing in America. You don't even see boxing in America as well as the world. You see boxing in America. I am the king. So he's the king of the America or the USA. Okay. Um, but the land of opportunity, he's trying to, I think, he's not warning them anything. He's just trying to tell them like, or kind of, you know how like someone goes through a bad stint at a job or something like that. And then they find out you're starting that job. So because they had a rough ride, they kind of damn near almost want you to go down that same path so you can get that same experience like them. That's what Deontay Wilder's doing. You know, so he's pretty much wishing that Fury and uh, Anthony Joshua will go down that same road and have just as much of adversity, <laughs> adversity as um, he did. So, you know, that's what he's saying in this thing, because he went through a lot or what, you know. But again, the poor guy doesn't understand he needs to look at his own management when it came to his career. And it doesn't have anything to do with other sports because these sports and boxing, boxing was alive and well in 2015 when Manny Pacquiao was fighting Floyd Mayweather. It was alive. Everything was evolved around boxing. The bo Why do you think the pay-per-view was where it was? Okay, Because everyone was putting their eye on boxing. No, not heavyweight boxing. That was a dead lit topic at that time. But welterweight, everything on below uh, from cruiserweight on down was being recognized. So I don't see how he can say, oh, he uh, it's because of the other sports and I, we got to compete with, you know. Well, he can say that he didn't get the right type of training because he was in Alabama versus other places because there wasn't boxing in Alabama. I'll buy that, but I don't buy this shit he's saying. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> because... The, what, what he's saying, you know, uh, America, you know, we do this, we do that. We don't believe in running, you know. Well, dude, you, that's a bad thing to say when you turn down $100 million. You know what I mean? It, it, you know, when you walk away from the opportunity to fight the guy to be considered actually the baddest man on the planet. You know what I mean? And this isn't the first time he's done that, so let's stop pretending like it is. You know, he turned down the, the Fury fight, which... 
the Fury fight would have locked him into five fights, but I, I I can understand him doing that. I you know because you wouldn't make me fight five fights on ESPN just to get to you. That's bullshit. But to fight two fights with the same guy that you claim to want to fight or want to unify, and that's the only guy standing in the way of unifying all the belts. I don't buy it. You know what I mean? You can't make me buy it. You can't make me believe that bullshit. You know what I mean? It's just not logically possible. It's not logically acceptable. You know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> but he goes on to say, I give America uh, the pride and joy of having their own superstar and heavyweight champion. They can call their own baddest man on the planet. You know, um, now he says that, um, He says that in this article, I'm trying to look for it because he said a lot. <laughs> Deontay talks a lot, but he did say he has power and influence. You know, he's got the influence. OK, I believe he does have the influence. I believe there are like there are powers that be that does back Deontay Wilder. That's why Deontay Wilder doesn't want to come to the U.K., and fight over there or he is reluctant to do so you know what i'm saying to fight someone like joshua so it makes it that much easier for deontay wilder if a fight ever was made now it would probably be at madison square garden or i would love to see it in texas stadium honestly because joshua's used to that type of uh, uh crowd and i know i think that he would sell out that arena and to fight wilder i think he would sell out that arena you know what i mean i think it would be another wimley you know what i'm saying so uh but for him to have say he has influence, I believe there are powers that be that, you know, that he's protected by because he is the American champ. And I think those same powers that be want to keep that narrative alive of having a heavyweight American champion. So, yeah, I do agree with him on that to counterpunch that, you know, but for him warning Joshua and Fury um, and I want to make this clear. I'm not sure about Furies, you know, but as far as Joshua, you can't warn someone and convince people that you are the man over here. Or you're the king in America. I mean, you can claim that, but this guy, as we all know, his sales are beating yours in your fight and your fight is closer. His fight is farther away and he's beating you. So I, th I just think that this is just propaganda. I think, you know, a lot of this, you know, he try to, he'll try to put 20% truth, you know, and then it's 80% bullshit, you know what I mean? I think, you know, so I think it's basically 20% truth and 80% opinion, basically, you know, because being the baddest man on the planet, you know, and you want to fight those fights and the best fights, well, you have to include yourself in making those fights possible. You can't be that one that's not fighting anyone and they're offering you fights and then state that you can't come over here running from fights. That makes no sense when you're the right main reason that these fights are not happening. You know, talking about being successful, Anthony Joshua was already successful. You know what I mean? So I, I, I just don't get it. But anyway, <laughs> you guys tell me what you say or think about um, the Bronze Bomber, his comments. Is he really the king of America? You know, um, of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.